YouTube, this is your boy Game Lander here. We're picking up where we left off. And Man. so, all right. I can't wait to take a shower. All right, so we have a few minutes to kill. We've got to take a shower and stuff. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all the support I'm getting, I'm getting on these videos. No matter so how small. Much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. Um, where's the towel? Oh, skateboard. Towel or something? Alright. What up? A jacket. Is mom playing music? Huh. What Victoria won? I'm always clicking out of these things. I'm always clicking out of these things. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Oh, you okay. see. My towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just. Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. We're definitely gonna get the boots this time around. Uh, uh, Alright, so look at the boots is going with anything. Um, I don't like picking up clothes because I always take my time. I'll, I'll go into each one of them just to see how they look. Cause I feel like it's different than last time. Or it's the same thing. I'm gonna be pissed at the same thing. I like it. I like it. I actually like it. Uh, now we do a few minute change. Change it. Try the other ones out. For the like, I'm very picky with my dressing, especially with her. You know, I want it to look. I feel like I did this already. All right, so we're not doing that again. 
Let's see dragon and stuff. Let's try last one. Let's try last one. I don't. I like the one down. I like the one a lot. Let's try one more, Chloe. Do not give me that face. One more, love. Do not give me the face at all. One more. I'm um, zombie stuff. What, what was that again? Those, those are pre-order bonus outfit. Uh Looks I. Don't not give me that face. I'm I'm trying to make it look good here, love. Sexy. Let's go. This one nice. I like this one. I like this one a lot. Like this one. Is it between this or their other one, which is kind of the one that Max wore? Um, the one with the. All right. One last thing. The plaid jacket. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. All right. Us. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Yeah, Dad. This too. Let's go. Here goes. <laughs> How many chances I can avoid mom or David. Should give us a stealth sequence, so let's try and avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> Not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> you know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. All right, we need to get the stuff. Hey, who's there? Hey, Chloe, your hair. When did you was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did, but this is, uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I'm also glad you came home, Chloe. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you... coming home tonight? Mom... I... I don't know. I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh! How is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. Chloe, I, uh... I don't have time for this. Now, hold on a minute. Please. I owe you an apology. Let's hear it. <sighs> Chloe, 
I should not have asked you to empty your pockets yesterday. I was, uh, out of line, and I'm sorry. Okay. Apology accepted. Really? Yeah. Good job. And good job, Mom, for twisting his arm or whatever. Chloe. What? It's great. He listens to you. Can we be done now? Wait. One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... Meaning to show you something. Maybe... Maybe now's a good time. This... Is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Becker was... Killed. Near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you, give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, all right. What the hell? Just gotta grab Dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. Holy crap. This might actually be helpful for fixing up the truck.
with me here. a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. I just need to find the right tool for each problem. Uh, let's check what David's saying. Alright. Um, toolkit, pliers... I bet Dad would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. I think Ty's a big good job for that. I feel like the wrench is a bit too big for the pliers. Yes, sir. There. Fits like a deadly electric glove. The this should be okay. I can definitely see some problems. Just need to match them. This thing is going to the fuck up. Maybe. Sick. <laughs> Oh my god. While working on cars on video games, how funny. Actually, I don't mind it, to be honest. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up. Sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Alright, so. loose. How can I tighten it? Uh, that we're gonna need a wrench for, actually. He's going down. Down to the crevice of Ethan. <sighs> Much better. Yeah, I I know my car stuff guys. I think I use Kurja for this one. So I haven't used Kurja for anything. The really. distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. Yeah, that's definitely a screwdriver job. Yeah, when in doubt I always use a screwdriver <laughs> to do the messiest jobs. I swear. That should help keep shit distributed. Uh, what the no. fuck? Go back from whence you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course. Alright, so we can check this around place, the spark plug.
please. I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit, your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But yeah, badass too. That shirt looks awesome too, I might add. You like anything that starts fire. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? Hey, I thought we were cool after that Drew North thing. Don't you want to be cool? I just want to talk to Frank. As long as you don't get in the way, we'll be fine. <laughs> I told you. She's like this. Gotta say, I really dig the whole tough girl thing. Frank was right about you. How'd you like to work full time for us? Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Huh. Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay, then let's talk. I want to know right now why you give a shit about this woman. She's a friend. An old family friend. 
This chick doesn't have any family. Or any friends. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is. Now. Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> no way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in, Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know? So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh, ah! uh, 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 you fucking bitch! It escalated fast, didn't it? Man. <laughs> she turned to a level quick. She went. Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? Ah, uh, stick situation, mate. We, ah, uh, that's just... It's my fault. I should have listened to you. Sarah's mixed up somehow with this psycho demon Merrick. 
I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe, but I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? I, I think he wanted to scare us so he'd stop asking questions about his business. Is that how it became violent? It was, it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was furious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. If you let her meet Sarah in the first place, we wouldn't have had to try something more desperate. There are many things I wish I'd handled differently. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. And we all could see it, but then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream. But I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this, I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be... Sometime before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> hey. Steph. How's Mikey? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. All right, guys, it's gonna be it for this one. This just got very interesting. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for enjoying the content. And please, guys, see the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share with family, friends. I really want to grow this channel a bit more. So I'll share if it's <laughs> all likes, comments, and sharing with people really would help me out. If I want to stay sane, so, I need to stay busy. 
So, there to do around here? So see you guys in the next one and peace. Gemini out.